Good evening and a very warm welcome to the Grassroots Weekender show. I hope everyone's keeping well out there. No doubt you are, because the weather is absolutely fantastic. Yes, summer is here. Whee! What are we going to do? How long have we got it for? How hot have we got it? Because next week, on Wednesday, we travel out to Yorkshire. Um, we're hitting the Yorkshire Three Peaks. And we're going to try and do that within 12 hours. Can we do it in this heat? We're going to lead, need a lot of water, so we're going to ask if the fire service can follow us with hose pipes. Anyway, fingers crossed it's not that hot and it's just mild for us because we'd get through it then. Um, and as anyone who knows me or follows me, I hate a train when it's really hot, it really does get me. Um, it does affect me. I'm going that high, I'm not too sure how high it is, uh, but Penny Gent is one of the first that we'll be tackling. And we've got to try and do it in 12 hours. And if we do it in this heat or that heat, wow, I don't know what we can say. But fingers crossed, we get through it. And you know what? I think I've been bitten on my leg. I've been doing engraving. I've been doing the trophies, getting them all ready for the tournament. The nice cups are absolutely brilliant. And I bet you'd all go, I want to see them. I want to see them. No, you can't. You've got to be in it to win it. And also, you need to get all your application forms in. Thank you very much for all the teams who have paid. I don't think there's, I think there's one or two who haven't. And they're the ones who we're going to advertise the space for, which is an under 11s in the medium to high and three spaces in under 10s, low to medium level. Now, if you want to get involved, get in touch with us. The Sunday one, the 27th, is the high level for the 11s. Everything else is full. You can put your names down. Even eight, nines, put them down the reserve list. And if we get enough teams, we get nine teams who really want to go into a tournament, then we will start a new one on the Bank Holiday Monday. It's not high level, it'll be low level. We want to keep that as to one schedule if we can do, because the medium to high has been done on the Saturday or is getting done on the Saturday and the Sunday. So we don't want to mix it, we want to keep them all low. And we're only asking you managers, we're putting a lot of trust in you as well, even though we'll get your application forms, we'll get your players, teams will tour. We really, really, really do want you to be the low to medium that you're telling us you are. You can't say, wow, that's the best he played, I wouldn't have believed he'd done that. You know, we want them all to be given a fair crack at the whip. And that's why we're advertising for low-level teams. And I got an email from a girl, I think it was a test, uh, someone saying, uh, can girls go in the uh, low to medium level, please? And I said, yes, not a problem. They never come back. I think they were waiting for a real go at me to say, wow, why aren't you allowing girls and what's the problem? And, you know, people are like that. And we do have, here's one for you, we have had, or I have, a lot of time wasters, honestly. Now, you know I haven't got the time to get in touch, even though I will do. Honestly, my time is so limited, it's just unreal. Even the girl downstairs wanted me to paint, and she's asked, I, I, do you know, and I can't do it. At the moment, I am so, so chocker. Got everything coming up, got the tournament coming up. These were my two challenges, to do the Yorkshire Three Peaks within 12 hours, and then after that, a, a tournament, a biggest tournament that we could get involved and honestly I think any team that goes there are going to be proud of what we've tried to achieve but you've got to make us even prouder by respecting the referees, respecting each other, respecting the committee and especially the organisers because it's been non-stop putting the work in. You're alright if you want team, you're sending me an email and an application form and making a payment. That's it, you're in, you make your payment, send the application form that is your job. All you want then is us to go back and tell you exactly what's going on on the weekend, which the poster explains everything of the bank holiday weekend. 26, 27, 28. We know there's two bank holidays in August. This is the second bank holiday in August. This is one that we're going for. And we haven't stopped, honestly. It's just been unreal. Um, the venue at the moment, they could have done a little bit more to help us. We'll explain all that as we go along when we have this tournament. And we might be looking for one or two tables because the venue seemed to have got rid of theirs because we wanted the presentation to be done nice. And now we've got little tables and I don't want to be 
carton house, big tables, or I just want to get it all right just for the teams, the teams that have come in and make it good for them if we possibly can. That's all we want to do. We want to make it to the best level that we can. Anyway, um, application forms, if you haven't got them in, they're due in. I'm drinking tea here and the weather is absolutely rugged and you're going to say, why are you doing that? It's not a myth. It's one of those. It cools you down. It doesn't. I just like a cup of tea and I haven't had one all day, so I made myself one. And later on I'll have water and orange juice to cool down. And while I chill out, but I've got a long way to go yet. And I like to get things done. I really do. Um, because you never know what tomorrow brings. So if someone give me an order today of trophies, I get onto it, I get it done as quickly as possible. I don't waste around time around and doing it. And I do as much. I can't promise to get things done, but I'll do it. For the simple reason is, you never know what's going to happen the following day, do you? And we're all aware of things that can happen. And honestly, the, the way it's been for the last three, four weeks for me, is just been unreal. Um, but I won't go into detail, but you, you've just got to carry on with things. And you've got to really, really spare yourself on and motivate yourself and keep yourself going. I suppose that's what life's all about. It's too short and obviously we've been waiting for this sunshine to come because we've had nothing but rain. Um, what more could we ask for? It, it's come. It's come at the wrong time for me if we're going to have this walk next week and I haven't even prepared for that yet. I've got a lot to get hold of. Um, this time last year when we were doing Hadrian's Wall, well prepared. All the lads we were talking um, and I've organised everything on that one as well. Yeah, one man band, would you believe? Um, it must be lovely to sit back and let someone go, what have we got to do, Mal? Right, okay, I'm doing it and then. You get to pick them up and you carry them and here you go, on you go. Um, but hey ho, it's one of those things. Um, as I say, I'm happy. All we need now is to get the referees. I'll ignore that for a little bit. Um, I'll bring them back as soon as I can. Um, it's a good mate of mine and he won't give up. I'll try and lower that if I can. Just a second. There you go. There you go, good mate of mine, he'll understand, if you're watching tonight Paul, sorry, but that's you, you had to get on the show, you had to get in didn't you? Anyway, we've got to get things done, we've got to get things organised and that's what we're doing. I'm sweating, um, but if you come in and you saw my office, my studio, the office outside, this is the studio, it looks okay doesn't it? A little bit of laptop and keys around, but at the end of the day, as I say, the end of the day, it's unreal out there, it really is, honestly. But I'm happy with myself because I've got onto things and I've done them and I've made sure I've worked extra hours to get these done because if something did happen, God forbid, to me, someone could go on, pick them up and away you go. And as I say, we just got to get the referees, so I'll be in touch with them. Um, they're doing it for a pound an hour. <sighs> well done, refs, fantastic. You know, give something back, respect. What do you think this tournament's for? It's all about the referees. It's all about you. It's all about keeping referees in the game. That's what we're campaigning for. That's what we're doing these things for. No ref, no game. You name, you name it. We're doing as much as we can from the sidelines. And this tournament is an awareness tournament to start these teams off to where they go next, next season. We want to really get the message out that they have to behave. And this tournament is no different. We won't tolerate any poor behaviour, I think everyone knows that. We're going to have a little bit of a day launch, yes we are, a little bit of a launch when it comes to it, on something that you probably all like, um, maybe. Let's see what happens, and we're going to let you know on the managers meeting, the parents meeting, we're going to get everyone together, and we just want to see you applauding the kids, supporting the kids. We won't take the passion off the game, but we will take the verbal abuse and the aggressive behaviour way up the tournament, and that will come out the game. And we're hoping for the FA to be there, the official FA, and also the LCFA. We've sent invitations out to Sky Sports. You never know. Everton, they promised me they're coming along with some ambassadors on the day. I don't know. I'll let you know when they're coming, and I'll let you know the ambassadors are coming along. Um, but what we want is all the teams who are registered in the tournament, they're the first come, first saves. People coming along and just gagging in. No, no, sorry, it won't happen like that. We'll have a stop and bleed, maybe we will. Uh, we've got loads planned for you. We want you to enjoy the tournament. We want you to take the reins up the way we're going to do it. 
and we just want to pass that message out and get you all involved just to get you that buzz about yourselves and the under sevens who are coming in medium to high and low to medium we want you to really enjoy yourselves we want kids smiling every every team every player will get a participation medal doesn't mean they're going to be world beaters doesn't mean they're going to be wow they spent a fortune on that because to be honest we ain't got that money because we have to pay out for the referees fees we have to pay out for the facilities and believe me and i think everyone knows out there is in grassroots football it's not cheap anymore it really isn't and we've had to get the trophies and maybe i'll get told off by my accountant and everyone who's helped me out running it because i've got that thing about me that i just want to get something extra special and what we're going to tell you now is this is what it is the winner takes it all now it's the ref spec cup the top half the ref spec cup so you're playing for that cup and also every participant is getting a medal you might not like it but take it because it's gratitude and it's fair play and then the winners of the respect cup they will get a trophy small trophy but the runners up won't so we're telling everyone now you go to many tournaments out there and you'll get a cup and you'll get a medal but we're not we're doing a cup everyone's getting a medal and the winners of the tournament are going to get a little trophy as well i think that's fair fair everyone knows but the lower half as well they will play for the heart of gold cup and they'll all get the participation medal as well and there'll be no runners up you're going to say you know if we run us up why give these trophies out we can't split it It'd be like a league wouldn't it it's you've got to understand what we're trying to do it's going to be a nice tournament we hope you like it and that is something unusual and we'll tell every manager we're telling you now and parents will all be aware of what you get but we don't want people going well oh, there you go they won it that wasn't fair and square i'm getting off we want to try and keep as many people there to applaud to applaud the winners the runners up that's what we'll give a, you know the runners up applaud them that is what it all it only takes gratitude it only takes fair play sportsmanship sports personship because we've probably got maybe have one or two girls in the teams i don't know at the moment but as i say you've got to get your application forms in you've been making your payments that's great it's killed me headaches because one manager doesn't get just one email one manager will get texts will get emails about 40 times off me and it's not me chasing them they'll come back and ask me questions and i've got to ask and it's not just you and we've got 80 teams in this 80 teams over the three days it's a one day tournament not three day tournament one day it'll be played and finished on the day we may have some teams to kick off at 8 for 7 8 45 yes quarter nine because the venue itself have told us that the adult games are starting the league games and they have no play around time spare time to give us uh, that's atrocious i know we didn't get told i paid for this in april in april i paid for it and we're asking managers and we've been asking managers to pay theirs I, i'm one of those people who will pay straight away if you enter something pay straight away that's all it is and you know what if you couldn't make it you tell us and we get someone in to take your place and you don't lose your money it's as simple as that if it was the last minute yeah you're gonna lose it we can't do anything about that and i think you'll all understand that you know next year we'll be asking for a 50 percent deposit that will come in because there's messing around of teams that i've had to deal with but i put a red flag up against them red flag i'll be looking for that club next year they will not get into it honestly and it's fair is fair the people who've come into it and not mourned and have been absolutely fantastic you're there you're in and whether we do a 13s 14s next year i'm not too sure should i say 13s we'll have a look but if those teams want to come in next year's and the same teams yeah why not we'll put that on for you because you'll be first come first served straight in what more could we ask this is the way we want to try and conduct and run tournaments and we want to give the committee we want to try and give you the best availability that we can within the tournament you've got to give respect to us as well i've honestly had some fantastic talks and conversations with new managers old managers people are no managers and you know what it's been absolutely fascinating and fantastic to talk to the new ones and i can't wait to meet you all because we've got team coming up from west riding and we've got them from wales cheshire warrington 
oh, do you know what? I didn't expect this tournament to be so unbelievable. And I've had a lot of people from outside the area, yeah, we'll be in it, mess me around, honestly. And what we've had to do is just override them. And the first come, first serve basis came into it. And we've just took teams out as well. People are oh, still asking the parents, oh, we're, and they expect you to sit and wait. Yeah, I know sometimes it's the parents, but if you put your team in a tournament, okay, they're all away, you put them in. It's not the parents. We've had one or two parents actually running this and it's stepping over the managers, but we don't want that. We want to deal with the managers and we want to make sure everyone is singing off the same song sheet when it comes to our Ref Spec tournament, our 20th anniversary. And we want to celebrate it in style and we're inviting Grassroots, who's just been on there, hopefully to come up and film that. If not, we'll get someone else. We really will. I'm having a sip of tea. Thank you very much. Sorry, SoundCloud listeners. SoundCloud, SoundCloud listeners. Uh, DXTL TV from the Touchlands. You're still there. You can see me. We're live. We're getting this cup of tea. I hope you're enjoying yourselves. And I hope you understand where I'm coming from. I really do. And our sponsors, H3 Sofas, and our main sponsor, One Call Taxis, Chris Sullivan. Brilliant. You're away on holiday at the moment, but you're still dealing with me. Still got time to text me. Fascinating. Thank you. Safe journey. Safe flight back. Can't wait for you to come back. And I can't wait to see this yellow cab that he's going to have on site as well. That's going to look good. I'm looking forward to that. And there'll be a few banners around there. And we've asked one or two um, kit manufacturers to get involved, but they don't seem to want to. I don't know why. And grassroots, I'm sure all you managers will be right over there talking to them if you can get cheaper kits and what have you, you'd love to speak to them. And we did offer one or two stores. And if you want to put a store up there, we've got space for a couple. Obviously you'll pay us, donate. That's going to, when I profit, is going to the Heart of Gold initiatives that we're doing with Don't Cross the Line. And that's what we're doing on Wednesday when we do our National Three Peaks Challenge. And we're gonna try that in, in um, less than three hours, 12 hours. Talk to me in that way. Oh no, we couldn't do that, that'd be impossible. Anyway, I hope you can support me. Go on to DXTL, Heart of Gold, please initiatives and donate as much as you can, if you can. We know it's hard times, but we are trying to help out uh, mental health and also disadvantaged children within the grassroots football side of things. And honestly, once we build that, you'll see a difference. You'll see us massively what we're doing. And we know there's people doing all kinds out there, but we've de been doing this for years. And honestly, it's a lot of voluntary work. 20th anniversary, but I've been in the game for 40 odd years in grassroots football. Dear me, how many managers, coaches out there have been getting paid and they've only been recent? I go back over 40 odd years and I've been voluntary right the way through it. There you go. We've got two minutes left of the show. Any comments you'd like to make, anyone who wants to get in touch with me, I know all your managers are, maladontextaline.com over the tournament. Under 10s, low to medium level, we need three spaces. Get them filled. It's sixty pound per team, seventy pound for the under elevens. It's low, it's medium to high on that one. One place there. Get in touch with me, maladontextaline.com. Add me as a friend on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, all the social network sites. Boy, honestly, it's been unreal what weather we've had and what we're trying to do here. But I tell you what, I chose it. We want to try and raise funding for this. Any sponsors out there who want to come on board with us and try and help us? We don't cross the line. Please feel free to do so because every little penny helps what we're trying to do. And our young commentators should be on tonight's show, but they're still on the summer break, as we said. So they're enjoying it and we'll have them back and hopefully at the tournament at the end of the month. But in the meantime, it's been fantastic to talk to you, listen to you and obviously get these messages out to you. If you need anything, anything that you want or asking me, or if you want to come become a volunteer on the day, please get in touch with me. It's going to be an extra special day on those tournaments. Saturday, 26th, Sunday, 27th, Monday, 28th. We've only got the 11s and 12s on the Sunday. We need to get an easy time. It'll probably finish around about 1 o'clock. That's what we're trying for. We're not trying to keep you over the bank holiday weekend. We want to try and get you away as soon as possible so you can turn around and go, what a well-organised tournament. And we've got Dan Pato on my side as well. And I think anyone who's dealt with Dan will know he's very strict as well. We're going to have real codes of conduct out there for the teams, for the referees. It's going to be a cracker. People will 
queue up next year to get into it, I assure you. But it's first come, first served by the ones who are coming in this year. Thank you very much for getting involved with us. We'll be back again tomorrow evening, around about 7 o'clock. Please tune in. In the meantime, put your feet up, relax, enjoy the sunshine, and we'll see you on Saturday evening. The Premier League starts. Good night, God bless.